What's going on guys? It's Bradley Goldman here with Be Strong, Stay Fit, episode two of four weeks to a bigger and stronger chest. We are here at Muscle Underground. We're gonna get some work done today. We're gonna work on our second week. So we're gonna be working in the 85% range for our flat bench. Then we're going to some accessory work. I'm not gonna get into too much detail because I wanna save it for the video. So first thing we're gonna do, warm up, shoulders, chest, make sure we activate. We're gonna get into it. So let's go. All right guys, so a little dynamic warm up, walkouts, pushups, 10, it's pretty solid for me. Now I'm gonna go to what I call a scarecrow and a push. What I'm trying to do, it's a high pull. It's a high pull, an external rotation, a press, come down, internal rotation, down. So we're trying to do, try to warm up your shoulders, Try to really get those rotator cuffs nice and warm. Because as you guys know, I'm not a young buck anymore. And with flat benching, it can really hurt sometimes. So I wanna make sure I'm nice and warm. I also wanna make sure the truck can't, doesn't interrupt my video. I wanna make sure I'm nice and warm so that once I start benching, we're feeling good. So we're gonna do two sets of these, eight reps each side, just until you feel good, all right? So one more time, up, external, internal, other side. It is real warm here in Chatsworth, California. It's 101 or 102, and I am in. Bam, long sleeves of pants. Um, all right, so today, like I said, we're gonna start with bench. I have my workout somewhere, but it's gonna be a little different than the last week. We're still gonna focus on our bench because it's four weeks to a bigger and stronger chest. With that said though, our accessories are gonna be a little different today. Hope you guys are ready, pay attention. All right guys, we're gonna go into our first set, which is a flat bench press. We're gonna warm up first, but since today is week two of four weeks to a bigger chest, let's go over the math real quick. So again, my pathetic max right now, <laughs> courtesy of a few situations, is 315. So today we're working 85%. So we're gonna take your max, 315 times, 0.85 is a whopping 267. I'm gonna make it a flat 270 because I'm pretty sure I can handle it. That's gonna be my 85% of my one rep max for a three by three. But first, I just got the bar there. So we're warming on up. Once I get working, you guys will know and we'll get going, all right? Let's go. All right guys, so we're about to go into our first working set. My warm-up sets, I did three warm-up sets. I did the bar, 135 and 225. I did the bar for about 10 or 12 reps. I did 135 for six reps. I did 225 for three reps. Now most of you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, why don't you, why don't you do 10 to 12 reps? I'm warming up. I don't wanna blow all my energy in my warm-up. I wanna save it for my working set. So now I've got 270 on the bar. I've got my old man wraps ready to go. Um, we're gonna do our first set. We're doing three by three at 85%. And again, 270 doesn't sound like a lot, but it is my true 85%. So it should feel taxing, okay? So again, three by three, 85%, old man wraps. Let's give this a shot.
shoulder's feeling a little wonky today, but it's okay. If you guys notice on that three by three, give it a little pause. What you wanna do, I don't want too long of a pause, but I don't want you to I don't want any of that stuff. Any of that stuff. We're gonna center that out. Okay, so come down, pause, explode. Nice controlled eccentric motion, pause, Explode. On the eccentric motion, remember, you're recruiting more of the muscle fibers. As you control the eccentric motion, if you just come down quick, you're doing nothing. Control on the way down, activate more of the muscle fibers, pause, and explode. I'm gonna rest for about two minutes, get some water, and we're gonna set two. getting a little rough. Last set. should feel pretty rough at the end. All right, now we move on to accessory work. So give me a second, unrack the weights because you should unrack your weights and then we'll get going. So we're gonna go into B1. If you look at the caption below, which is floor dumbbell flies. So I've got 45s here. I'm about a 180 pound man. So you guys can kind of gauge where you're at. So we're gonna do four sets of 10 to 12 reps Come all the way down, make sure you come to a dead stop on the floor, engage the chest, squeeze on the way up, nice little pause. Again, controlling the eastern choke motion on the way down, squeeze back up, 10 to 12 rep, four sets. Set one. On set two, I'm actually gonna raise my legs up, but we'll zoom out after or now. I'm gonna raise my legs up. Set three, here we go. All right guys, we're moving on to C1 in the caption below. So C1 is gonna be an incline fly on a stability ball. So what we need is you need a cable machine. We're gonna take the settings, we're gonna bring the cable down or the arm, and we're down to what looks between like a six, excuse me, about an eight or a nine. We're gonna bring it down. You're gonna bring it out about three notches. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that but you wanna make sure they're even. You're also gonna need your stability ball. So, when performing these, let's go over this really quick. 
Grab the cables. You're gonna roll your body out so that your lower back is almost touching the floor, okay? So you wanna be on the lower part of the ball. You wanna roll all the way down. Yeah, you see how my butt is tucked down? My chest is up to mimic an incline press. So, be here, nice and open, and squeeze. Now, if you guys look at the caption, there's a C2. The C2 is a close grip press right after. So, we're gonna go 12 reps. That's number 12, and then we're gonna press. 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 And what that press is doing, working out that inner canal, as you guys see, okay, in the chest. So, working that separation. So really squeeze on the press. Don't just bang through. That's not gonna do anything for you. Come all the way down, really squeeze at the top, all right? Three, four sets, 10 to 12 reps each, right into one another. From C1 to C2, there's no rest. You rest after, right? Let's go. Let's throw some weight on this thing. Set two. At this point, you should have a decent pump going, okay? Uh, if you don't, go start from the top because at this point in the workout, you should feel pretty fatigued. We're on the third set of exercise. And again, you guys are only really seeing the working sets. Remember, the sets listed in the caption below are only the working sets. Warm up sets don't count. So if you're at, I don't know, you're trying to do your flies and you're hitting 10 to 12 and you've got another three left in the tank, that's not your working set, that's a warm-up set, okay? None of that nonsense. Get to a weight where you're failing between 20, 10 and 12 reps, all right? On both exercises, those are your working sets. So with that said, set two. Uh, because I'm being kind of lazy. Let's make it heavier. Okay, uh, all right guys, so we've hit flat, which is what we're working on. We're working on our strength and the size of our chest. We've done some incline. We've done some flat flies that we haven't done. We haven't done any decline chest. Now, I'm not a big fan or proponent of a lot of decline presses or decline movements, but you do want to incorporate them in there. There's one that I like in particular that I was taught a while ago. It's a decline overhead pull. So, what you need, you need a dumbbell. You need a decline bench, okay? And what you can do, okay, so those are two things you need. If you wanna amp it up a little bit, you can put a band around the dumbbell to give a little more contraction, but for today's purposes, we're not gonna do that. So, we're hopping in, we're gonna do three sets. This is a really weird incline, decline bench. Okay, we're gonna do three sets, 10 to 12 reps. You're gonna grab the dumbbell like such. Shine bright like a diamond or whatever else you wanna think that looks like. Okay. Grab the dumbbell. And when you get to the top, squeeze with the bottom part of your chest, flex the center, and nice and slow, all the way down. Oof. Oof. Push 
shits and giggles. We're gonna bleep that out. You're gonna super set with some decline setups. So we'll do 15 reps. Make sure you get that core nice and tight. Third and final set. Let's go. All right, guys. Should feel very full right now. Mine definitely is. So, what we're gonna do today is we're end off with 50 push ups. I don't care if you have to do five sets of 10, two sets of 25, one set of 50, a set of 30, 20, whatever you have to do to get through it. 50 push ups, full range of motion, chest to the ground. Full lock it every time, and then you're done. So, if you go and do 50 push-ups all the way in a row though, you didn't work hard enough. So, let's go. 50 push-ups, last thing we're doing, and then we're done. <sighs> I'm trying to come up with the words to say to you guys. I'm trying to some, say something to inspire you guys to do this. But I'll be honest, those last 50 push-ups suck, but they work. So with that said, that's our last set. You kill it. All right guys, this was episode two, week two of Four Weeks to a Bigger Chest. My name is Bradley Goldman. Make sure you check the website, bestrongstayfit.com, facebook.com backslash bestrongstayfit. Of course, you guys know, because that's where you found me, instagram.com backslash bestrongstayfit. And of course, the man behind the lens, at Matt Lean Photos on Instagram. I know he's gonna make a pop-up somewhere. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget, check back next week for week three, for four weeks to a bigger and stronger chest. We're gonna be working 90% different accessories, and in two more weeks, you should have some bigger pectacles. See you guys next week. Thanks guys.